guys, I'm Jackie from the blog Everyday Elegance by Jackie and today I thought I would do something a little different. I've never done a video before and I thought this would be a good opportunity. So if you want to uh, keep watching and uh, see me unbox uh, my new Chanel, keep watching. So just wanted to give you guys a bit of background. Um, if you follow me on social media you'd know that I just recently uh, went to Europe um, for six weeks. I went to uh, London, Paris and then Greece and um, it's always been a dream of mine to um, own a Chanel bag and as soon as I um, you know, booked plans to go to Europe I thought it'd be a really great opportunity um, to buy a Chanel bag at the uh, flagship Chanel store, so uh, 31 Rue Gambon in Paris. So. Um, I had a day free um, in Paris and um, I went uh, you know, with my mum and my friend Steph uh, to the store uh, and it was really an incredible experience. Uh, before I did go though, I did research um, the kind of bag that I wanted. Um, obviously it's a pretty major investment so <laughs> not something that I really took lightly. Um, so, from many years ago, um, I wanted to buy the, well, to one day buy the um, Chanel Boy bag. I just really think that um, it is one of their classic bags, but I think it's a little bit more edgy. Um, I really, I guess the hardware on it makes it, gives it a bit of a young feel, and I think it really suits my aesthetic. Um, of course one day I think it would be amazing to also <laughs> own a classic Chanel flat bag um, but for me at the moment um, a Chanel boy bag was just it just I guess suited um, my style and um, the look that I really like and I've always really loved the bag um, so that's the one I went with so I definitely did some research into the colour of bag that I wanted obviously um, classic black is the only colour that I'd probably buy an investment bag in. Um, the size, uh, I wanted it to be a size that I can, you know, put my everyday things in but not be too big that I start, you know, bringing everything and it just gets too heavy. So obviously this isn't going to be a bag that I'm just going to be carrying around every day uh, because, I mean, it is, um, you know, quite special. But I do want it to be a bag that will be useful so and functional. So I um, decided to get the medium size um, in the black. And since I always wear, uh, I'm more of a silver person myself, um, I'm not really one to wear a lot of gold, um, considering I'm quite pale and with my skin tone and hair colour and things, um, silver is was the way to go. Um, so I did, yeah, researched on, um, I guess, different people's uh, YouTubes as well because there's a lot of great information from some other YouTubes out there. Um, so I definitely knew what I wanted before I went into the store. Um, so a little bit about the experience of going into the store. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, as soon as you walk in, they've got all the different... Um, ranges so they've got the clothing range, the perfumes, shoes, and then bags. Um, so as soon as you walk in, it's it, yeah, it's it's pretty magical <laughs> for us girls, I guess. Um, so I looked around a little bit first. Um, I guess scared in the room to to see the bag that I want. Um, but one thing that um, I found was this stuff. Um, at the store were incredibly sweet, incredibly helpful. Um, the lady first helped me, when she first came up to me, she asked me what bag I was after, and I told her, um, you know, the Chanel boy bag in the medium size and black. So she went and, um, you know, they've got like display tables and then they keep all of the other stock behind. So she went and got um, a bag out except the bag had gold hardware so I mean everything else aside it was the exact kind of bag that I wanted um, but in gold hardware 
So I told her that I was looking to get the silver hardware. Um, so she went back and had a look to see if there was one there with silver hardware. But unfortunately there wasn't. Um, when she told me that there wasn't the bag that I was after in silver hardware, <laughs> I can tell you my heart sunk a little. Um, I guess because I always really wanted, the dream was to go there to that store and buy the bag. And when she said that it wasn't there, I was just a little bit disheartened to be honest. Um, but the lady was really lovely. Um, she checked to see if they had the bag in any other stores in Paris um, and luckily, I'm so lucky they did um, and they were actually able to um, bring it over <laughs> to the um, flagship store for me so that I could um, get the actual bag that I wanted which was incredibly lovely of them. So yeah, I ended up um, having to go back a couple of hours later and they brought, yeah, the exact bag that I wanted. So, um, yeah, in, incredibly lucky. So, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I'm going to open the bag now. Um, this is, yeah, pretty exciting. It's something that I've always wanted. Um, it's a big thing for me, I guess, because, um, as I said, I, I bought it for myself. And to me, that signifies, you know, a lot. Um, so this is the box that it comes in, and by the way, since I've travelled Europe, um, I've pretty much carried this bag in another bag to like protect it um, all throughout Europe. Because I bought this probably, I think it was like the first week into a six week trip, so every plane ride that I went on, um, everything, I had to <laughs> cart this with me, so um, yeah, it was... It was definitely worth it though. Okay, so this is pretty exciting. Um, it's so pretty and I it's like don't want to ruin it, but um, I really I'm really excited to open it because I've been carrying this around like I said, like six weeks or even longer now because I've been home for a week. <laughs> so um, from the um, flagship store, they um, box everything in white and um, you know ribbons, white white camellia. That's what's so special about the store. I guess every other store is in black. Um, so this one, yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. So I'm going to open it now. <laughs> I really should learn how to do this. So it's got the um, 31 Rue Gambon Paris on there. I'm put this aside. Okay, so let's open. I hope you can see. I might open it this way. So when you open the box, they've got some tissue paper in here with the um, little Chanel sticker. So I'm just gonna try and carefully open that. And then um, you open it, and then more tissue paper. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take the bag out. So in the box, they've also got a duffel bag to keep the bag um, clean you know, when you're storing it. And then they've also got a um, little booklet here with um, the cleaner. So what you clean the bag with. And I'm guessing because the bag was brought in from another store and not um, originally packaged at the Rio Mon store, um, that's why the duffel bag um, is black because normally they'd be white um, but that's okay <laughs> I'm just lucky to have the bag um, and in here they would have like all the care instructions and things like that so I'll make sure I keep that 
Okay, and then here's the bag with more tissue paper. This is the bag. It doesn't want to open. <laughs> Oh, because it's true. Right. Okay. <laughs> Always there. So I guess they've put the tissue paper there to protect the bag from the chains. Because it is caviar leather, which is um, a lot softer. And I think uh, more attractive than the, um, the other types, but Obviously, you have to be more careful. So, here's the bag. <laughs> so this is the front. This is where um, it's got the the latch. You can open this. You can oh, um, obviously the strap here. But what I like about it is um, it's in the ruthium. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, metal. So it's silver, but it has a bit more of a rustic feel rather than just straight silver. And I think it will wear better and age better as well, rather than like scratching and things. So you can wear it um, double um, or single like that, depending on, I guess, if you want a crossbody or just under your arm. I'd probably wear it um, double because I am a bit shorter as well. But you can adjust the straps to if need be. And then, yeah, so a little latch here with the double C. And then, just open that one up. And more tissue paper. And more. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as you can see the bag, it's, it's quite big. I mean, it's a square base. So it kind of looks deceiving. It can fit quite quite a bit in there. Um, so I'm not sure if you can see that. But um, in the back here, they've got the um, Chanel Authenticity card. So I'm going to keep that in the bag. And yeah, there's um, not really any other pockets, but probably no need to be honest. Um, I got the uh, just regular um, quilted um, exterior because I think that um, that's classic Chanel and I think it looks really beautiful. Um, so the back is the same. Yeah, I think it's a really great size. They do have like a mini size, this size and then a large one, but the larger one is more square whereas I like this rectangle shape. Um, yeah, I probably um, would do some blog posts and things on that um, soon <laughs> when I'm confident enough to take it outside because this is my baby now. Um, so yeah, you'll be, I'm sure it will feature in a lot of my uh, upcoming blog posts and Instagram posts and things like that, so keep an eye out. Um, but yeah, really excited and it's definitely an investment piece that um, I'm going to cherish and definitely look after considering um, it is quite delicate. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if there's any other um, videos that you guys would like me to do, I don't know, um, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, anything like that, um, please let me know uh, either in the comments below or on my socials. Um, I will be making um, a travel video, hopefully I've got some good footage to show, but I'll be making that um, in the coming weeks and hopefully share that with you guys. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye!